ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are once again at Islands of Adventure. I'm really excited to be here. We are only four short days away from the official grand opening of the Velocicoaster, and we are here today to find out whether or not we think it's ready to open to the general public on June 10th. I'm really excited to be here. We have a lot of other things planned to do around the park today. I'm really excited. We got the Incredible Hulk coaster going on right here. We're gonna be riding that in a little bit. It's gonna be a phenomenal day today, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new around here and you enjoy what you see and you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Look at that, the Velocicoaster's going right now. Woo boy, I'm so excited to ride that. Ah, it's gonna be a good day. Let's head on into the park. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here on Sunday, June 6th. Let's take a look at the wait times at about four o'clock in the afternoon. Spider-Man only a 25 minute wait. Cat in the Hat is a 10 minute wait. Seuss Trolley, 35 minutes. We also have Jurassic Park River Adventure at 45, Dudley Do Ride 75, Incredible Hulk Coaster only a 25 minute, and it looks like Hagrid's isn't utilizing a virtual queue today at only a 60 minute wait. That's actually not bad at all. I'm very excited. Huh. So oddly enough, the wait time board showed an actual physical wait for Hagrid's, but I see a sign here that's encouraging people to join the virtual line. That's interesting. And yep, according to the app, there is no virtual line necessary showing at a 60 minute wait. And since we are heading over there, might as well take a look at the wait time for Velocicoaster and it is currently an 80 minute wait, ouch. So we're walking through Hogsmeade right now and I just wanna point something out that I really love that Universal does for their team members is that they give them umbrellas. I love that. You will never see Disney give any of their cast members that are outside an umbrella unless they're like a coordinator or a member of the leadership team, something like that, unless they're like a higher up. So I love that they give their attractions cast members or, or team members or any team member for that matter an umbrella. I really love that and it's really good to see. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed my time working at Disney, but from what I hear, I feel like Universal treats their team members a lot better. And I'm extremely surprised at the crowding situation here in Hogsmeade today. I didn't feel like I needed to wear a mask because I feel like I have some room for activities. I can't help but feel like Jurassic Park's days are numbered. <laughs> Only four days away. As I've said in my last Universal Studios video, I genuinely hope that Universal decides to open up this bypass bridge because it will help tremendously. All right, as stated earlier, it's an 80 minute wait and single riders at capacity. All right, so since we're not gonna be riding Velocicoaster for a while, I've gotten a lot of requests for a POV of Jurassic Park River Adventure, so let's head on over there. It's really hot, so I could go for a water ride right now. All right, time to put that express after four to work.
know I normally don't sit in the front row of River Adventure, but for you guys, I made an exception. I'm, all things considered, I'm not ridiculously wet. You know, I'm actually quite surprised that I'm as dry as I am. But overall, not bad. Not bad at all. I can't recall if I pointed these out last time, but they have some brand new VelociCoaster shirts, and they're marked on the sleeve with the grand opening. So that's really cool to see. Let me see if I can pull this out so you guys can see. Look at that. That's actually awesome. And they are $25. All right, I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna go ahead, get Velocicoaster done now because there are other things around the park that I wanna do and I don't exactly know when I'm gonna be making it back to this side of the park now that I got River Adventure done. So, let's go ahead and get it done now. All right, 80 minutes, let's do this. All right, time to head on the Velocicoaster. See you guys in a little bit. You're kind of up here, you're on the taller locker. <laughs> Well, my bag got snagged on the door on the other side, so <laughs> oh, this is fun. I need help. Oh, yay! Thank you! <laughs> I am incredibly jealous of the people that were in like the second or third train in front of me because I got all the way up to the top and we were at the station and then it broke down. And I could see, you know, you have a sight line into the control room and they have all the security cameras and I can see the train got stuck on the second launch. So it hit the second launch, but then it stopped short just before it exited and went up. So it, we were there for about yeah, maybe five, 10 minutes or so. And you know, they had the ride, you know, shut down and everything. And then I could see the train on the camera start rolling backwards. So from the very end of the launch to the very start, it had to roll back and then it stopped and then it had to launch backwards. We have video of this on the channel from when it was doing test runs before it even thought about soft opening, where it launched backwards to get enough momentum to go back through the second launch and hit the 70 miles an hour to go straight up. I wish I was on that train. That would have been so much fun. It's an absolute dream of mine to, to get, you know, either evac'd off a ride or to have that happen on the Lost Coaster. Either way, I'll put the picture in over here so that you guys can see. So much fun. So the Velocicoaster has been in technical rehearsals for the better part of a month. I think maybe even a little bit more than a month. So from what I've seen, everything is running very smoothly. For an Intamin coaster, this ride is running amazingly well. I've been coming here at least once a week for the last month or so, and I haven't seen too, too many issues with this ride. The Velocicoaster has managed to open consistently every single day right around the time the park opens and for the most part with a few exceptions has remained open until the park closed which is really really good to see now Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure is an intimate coaster as well but it does have a lot more it does have a lot more moving parts to it and there's so much more involved that at the very beginning it was very common for it to shut down every single day for multiple hours 
because there was so much involved in it. And Universal Studios made the mistake of not running soft openings or any type of previews whatsoever for Hagrid's. So that way Hagrid's wasn't able to be put through its paces with the general public and or guests. So that just snowballed in and of itself right there. Now, what I'm very happy to see is that Universal Studios has really changed their mind and turned things around with the Velocicoaster, and they're not taking any chances. They got a lot of negative press for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure because of how unreliable it was at the beginning. I'm very happy to say that it's a lot more reliable now, but at the very beginning, it was atrocious. And so, again, very happy to report that Universal Studios has been running soft openings nearly every single day, which is very good to see. And you guys can see they're running trains constantly. Now, from what I can see, the number of trains that they're running at a time, it varies from day to day or from time to time. They might add a train, they might remove a train. Either way, it's really good to see that it has been put through its paces. And honestly, I think it's ready to open on June 10th. I haven't seen too, too many issues with that at all. I know that there have been some reports out there of the ride being evac That's normal for any ride. If you see an article from something like Inside the Magic, that's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, like blowing things out of proportion, it happens with every single ride. And with Velocicoaster, it's bound to happen. It happens on the Incredible Hulk, it happens with everything. And this is a brand new ride that has been in technical rehearsals for a long time. And I think we're in for a pleasant surprise. And I think that we are in for a very, very good opening day. Nothing like Hagrid's where we were waiting almost 10 hours. By the time that Coda and I got in line to the time we got off, it was almost nine hours plus that we were waiting because of downtime. That was absolutely insane and that was unacceptable and I'm very happy to feel like we're gonna have a very different experience here at Velocicoaster on June 10th. I am also happy to report that we are going to be here on the grand opening day. We have a hotel booked for that Wednesday night so that way we can be here bright and early in the morning to experience the grand opening of the Velocicoaster on June 10th. So if you guys are here, keep an eye out for me. I'll be here and unfortunately, I'll be wearing some Crocs as well. If you watch my live streams, you'll know the story behind that. Now, with all that being said, we have to ask the question, what kind of wait times are we going to expect on opening day on June 10th? Not entirely sure. Hopefully, again, fingers crossed that it's nothing like what we saw with Hagrid's. And I, I'm fairly confident that we're not gonna see anything more than maybe three hours, if even that, only because this ride has been in technical rehearsals for so long that I feel like a lot of people have had the chance to experience the ride. And with Hagrid being so secretive and with Universal having Hagrid's, you know, in such a tight grip, they didn't want anything to come out about that ride for whatever reason. I think we're gonna be in for a good time on opening day. Also, I think I lost my voice on that ride. I screamed so much. I'm very definitely feeling it in my throat. That's what she said. <laughs> It is ridiculously hot out here, so I had to take a frozen butterbeer break. I haven't had one of these in a hot minute. I got nothing but froth on that one. Either way, it's so good. I remember when these things were like $4 or $5 when Wizarding World first opens. Now they're like close to eight. I got my annual pass holder discount and it came out to like seven something and change, so. It's unfortunate, but still so worth it. Also, you cannot beat these views of Velocicoaster that I get from the three broomsticks outside area. Overall, I am very pleased with the amount of spacing that we have in Hogsmeade right now. It feels glorious. All right, guys, time to head on Hagrid's. It's about a hour wait or so, so not too terrible. I'm not too concerned about it. I really want to ride it, so why not? There goes the camera. <laughs> See you guys in a little bit.
All right, got some good news. I got some bad news. The good news is that I got to ride Hagrid's twice. The team members over there are awesome. One of them recognized me and they tagged us for a re-ride. I got one picture and I didn't get the second picture. And that's what leads us into the bad news. The team member that was at the photo booth at the end of Hagrid's, she needs some help. She needs some help. Like she was there by herself and you can tell she was straight up not having a good time. She was huffing and puffing and rolling her eyes at each and every guest. And when I asked her, you know, if we could search for our pictures, she rolled her eyes and it was just bad. It was really bad. And so I didn't get the second picture because it was taking way too long. I told her that I pretty much rode back to back and that the picture should be kind of close. But she was taking, I was standing there for almost 10 minutes waiting for her to find the photo. She found the first one. She was looking through for the second one. I tried telling her that it, they should be really close together and I guess she was having issues with other guests as well and taking forever. She just needs some help. So Universal, if you're watching this, I know you sometimes watch the videos. Um, have two people at the end of Hagrid's and the photo booth because they need some help over there. The photos don't sync up to people and you have to go through and search for the photos individually. It takes a lot of time and that poor team member over there was not having a good time and giving guests attitude. Uh, and with that, it is time to make our way back to the front of the park and head on home. All right, guys, well, that is gonna do it from us here at Islands of Adventure, just four days before the grand opening of the Velocicoaster. Like I said earlier, I do think it is ready to go. Despite the little breakdown that it had today, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, it's a ride, it happens with any ride, something like that can always happen, so. Overall, not bad at all. You can see it going right there. It's working perfectly fine right up until park closed. It's about 8.30 right now, so not bad at all. Also, I put out on Twitter, what did you guys want to see from this video? And someone commented and said that they wanna know if Hagrid's is getting ready for Express. I rode Hagrid's twice, and from what I saw, I don't think they're getting ready for Express. They do have a line that is dedicated for like handicap or for accessibility, but at the same time though, I don't know if they're gonna be using that for Express and I haven't seen any indication that they are getting ready for Express. So just bear that in mind. I don't know if it's coming. I hope it's coming because Lord knows it needs it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed any bit of it, then please leave a like on the channel. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, then please consider subscribing to the channel. We have a Patreon. If you guys want to support us in any extra way, link to that down in the description below. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.